when Jesus was on earth, he was both fully man and fully God, meaning that he knew everything there ever was or is to know. He wanted to pass on as much information as he could, but much of what Jesus had to share would be difficult for his listeners to understand. To help, Jesus would teach using stories called parables. Other times he would use examples of things that occur in nature. One such instance occurred while Jesus was teaching a group of people while in Jerusalem. Jesus told the crowd, I am the true vine, and my father is the gardener. Jesus knew that the people in the crowd that day would understand what it takes to plant, grow, and care for a fruit-bearing vine. By using this comparison, Jesus taught the audience how God cares for us. A vine is planted in good soil, watered, and watched carefully to see if anything is needed to help it grow. Branches sprout from the vine. Some grow fruit, others do not. Branches that bear no fruit are cut off and thrown away. These steps help the vine to grow strong, flourish, and bring about lots of beautiful, delicious fruit. The people in the crowd that day understood that a seed planted and left alone could grow and maybe even bear fruit, but it would not do as well or live as long as one tended to lovingly. Jesus continued by telling the crowd that God is the gardener, Jesus is the vine, and we are the branches. This means that God, the gardener, is our creator and loving caretaker, and Jesus is the vine from which we, the branches, draw life and the ability to grow and bear fruit. The people in the crowd that day understood that a branch not attached to a vine cannot grow or bear fruit. Likewise, Jesus taught that without a connection to him, it is not possible to prosper. Jesus was using this illustration to help us understand that only in him do we find full and abundant life. Jesus made it clear that if a branch is not connected to the vine, it is impossible for that branch to survive. The branch has to be able to receive the vine's life-giving nutrients in order to live. Without drawing on the vine's full power, the branch will get weak, shrivel up, and fail to bear fruit. These sad branches are cut off and thrown away. When we accept Jesus as our Savior and try our best to obey Him, we are like branches connected and fully drawing sweet life from the vine. Living a life connected to Jesus provides us with support, blessing, forgiveness, and the promise of never-ending life in heaven. Jesus longed for his followers to experience a strong connection to him. He explained that the keys to staying connected are love and obedience. Jesus loves us the way his Father loves him. Jesus explained that he shows his Father love by obeying his commands. That means for us to show Jesus that we love him, all we have to do is obey his commands. Obeying Jesus' commands makes him happy, and making Jesus happy will fill us with absolute joy. Our lives become like healthy branches that bear wonderful fruit. To remain connected to Jesus, we must obey his command to love each other the way Jesus loves all of us. Jesus showed his love for us by coming to serve and through sacrifice. We can show each other love like this by helping people and by putting the needs of others before our own. By focusing our attention, effort, and love on others rather than ourselves, our lives bear the good fruit that pleases God. Through this obedience, we show Jesus how very much we love him. As we show our love for Jesus by obeying his command to love others, we begin to discover just how deep his love for us is. Jesus now calls us friends. As friends, 
our connection to and knowledge of Jesus blossoms and becomes stronger. Our strengthened connection and faith helps us to prosper and bear fruit that will last forever. The friendship with Jesus that has begun in this life will grow and thrive for all eternity. Our connection to Him will never end.